just to make things confusing, that one's called Xanon, and this one's called Xan. Although that one could be called Xenon, depending on a, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, Devil Man More Than Demon from Future came out in the late 90s and into the early 2000s, I believe. Uh, let's see, this is the Rusty Copper Xan. Let's see what it says there. Super detailed action figure. Collect all ten to complete <laughs> the collection display base and a special bonus part included with each figure. Yeah, nice run-on sentence. Uh, color, cover illustration and logo by Yasushi Narasawa. Cover CG artworks by Katsuya Terada. Now, what's cool about these is, well, not just Yasushi Narasawa's work, but, uh, man... They they do make a larger figure, but you have to buy a shit ton. Like, in my life, I've had this one, I've had this one, I've had this one, I've had this one. I still have that one, still have that one, never got that one. And obviously got this one. And I mean, <laughs> those some of those parts are long gone, even though I have bought part sets on eBay. But yeah, I mean, it's cool that it builds a large figure. It's just that you have to spend hundreds? Ugh. I mean, when you're lucky, you can get these things for about 20 bucks, and when you're unlucky, eh, more like 120 bucks. Yeah. Anyway, let me cut this puppy open. Yeah, notice, too, the extreme yellowing going on on this blister card. Uh, that is very common with uh, uh, future toys. I mean, that is just... Ugh. Good fucking God. <laughs> As you can see, here's that yellow part that I was mentioning in the last video, or the yellow plastic. And there's the base. Okay, I was wondering about the last video uh, with uh, Xenon back there. <laughs> His base had tape going along it like this, and I guess that was the seller that had done that. Because, as you can see, Future has them encased in plastic. So, yeah, that shouldn't have happened. And as with uh, all of these Devil Man things, here you have the character Zan. So it's Z, A, N, and then a 2. As in two Zan, or two N's for the Zan. <laughs> also very clever. And then you just turn it upside down and it looks uh, satanic. Yeah, go figure. Cat o' nine tails. Uh, yeah, that, that's the tail, one of the tails to, uh, uh, what's his name? Ah, I forgot his name. Anyway, it's, it's to the bonus character, and it actually has a wire in it to make it bendy. Okay, so this is a red variant of Xan. I'm not really liking the red very much, but it was cheap, and that's what I was going for. Oh my god, the whole thing moves up? Oh my god, I thought it was just, like, maybe his lips there. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little wobbly feeling here, but not terrible. Yeah, a little wobbly. Uh, I don't think... Oh, yeah, it does have some articulation. Oh, that's good. It's not much, but it doesn't need much. I mean, if, if I were, you know, in charge of this, I wouldn't even have their legs bend. Because their legs bending are pointless. If you try to bend these you're probably going to break a joint inside there. Oh my god, I just don't like the feel of it. Ugh. You know, if it doesn't move, I'm not going to force it. Because, like I've said before in another Devil Man video early on, these things are supposed to just stand there and look sexy. That's it. That's their only job. They're just supposed to stand and look sexy. That's it. <laughs> they have no other purpose. Uh, this one I'm actually thinking of painting up like a Sharkticon from uh, Transformers. You know, change the eye color to neon uh, green, give it like silver metallic teeth, uh, paint all that purple, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, you can see in this image here what I'm talking about. Guilty or innocent? Innocent. Yeah, it 
looks like there's like a hair or something stuck in the paint there. That's kind of weird. Yeah, there's like a hair stuck in the paint. <laughs> Let's see, does his jaw move? No, it doesn't. It is a nice face, though. Kind of looks like that uh, gargoyle from that old movie, Gargoyles. Yeah, it's like a badass version of that. It, it's like, it, it also has a Giver look to it, too, doesn't it? Oh, look at that joint. Holy shit. That is pointless. <laughs> that is utterly pointless uh, articulation there. I just don't see the purpose to that. I mean, like I said, they're just supposed to stand there and look sexy. See that? I've bent it out, and now it's stuck. Does it go back in? Is it supposed to? I can't tell. Oh, my God. Okay, it went back in. <laughs> Had to clear the uh, cuff there. Uh, yeah, it also, it, like I was saying, it looks like Giver. It This looks like a hyper -zoanoid. Uh What it was it called? Mirakami? I used to have that figure. But, yeah, there's really not much else to say about this. Uh, that's Devilman uh, Zan. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> As with uh, the last video, these pegs that they put on here to hold the figure on, almost worthless. Almost completely worthless. Like, the peg is so long that I just know that a good bump and it will break. Yeah. Yeah, more Devil Man tomorrow. Uh, good day. I have the powers of a Zoa Lord just like you! I'll send you to hell even if I have to drag you there myself!